well, now as parts of London come to terms with four fatal shootings in the last three weeks, Focus Pundit Gavin Peacock has been to visit a project which is helping young people to turn their backs on gun crime. The Greenhouse charity runs sports coaching in some of London's most deprived areas and is using sports like football to help get young people off the streets. Teams of armed police are on the streets of South London tonight amid fears that gun crime is out of control. Tonight, three teenagers shot dead in 12 days. It's been said that sport can transcend problems in society. So here I am in North Peckham, in the centre of some of London's most notorious estates, to see how Greenhouse Bethwing Football Club is trying to achieve just that. Go, 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 go. On this side, we've got the North Peckham estate, which is... Um, now it's been notorious for the Damiola Taylor and the Damiola Taylor stabbing. And then you've got the Owsbury estate over this side here, which is the largest housing estate in the whole of Europe. Hey, please, Beth, win. Rapid, please. A lot of these kids are young and lost, basically, and even myself, I feel lost. A circle, please, yeah, not a square, not a diamond. A circle, please. Come on, gentlemen. There's been a spate of shootings locally, you know, just in the last few months, and it's still there was a few last year. And what seems to happen with myself is, uh, you know, I hear about it, I look in the, you know, I read it up in the press, and then, um, the gentleman who was basically stabbed over in Southampton Way, you know, I looked at his name and I thought, I know this kid, you know, I know the name, I know the name. And I realised that, you know, he's one of our kids who used to play for the clubs two years ago. If we'd basically been given the support, you know, funding there and then, we could have basically started our men's team a lot earlier. And maybe we could have had that young gentleman actually been playing football with us rather than being out doing what he, what he, um, what he was doing. And, um, you know, a lot of kids are caught up in a negative cycle. What we try to do is use recreational activity to guide them out of negative cycles and, um, and try and make them see the bigger picture. Is it tough out there for, for, for young people in this area? What would you be getting up to? It might be influenced by other people going in the wrong direction. So do you think these guys out here need strong role models? Yeah, um, most definitely. Um, you know, as I said, it's, it's hard because I feel like we're competing against you know, negative role models um, out there. A lot of them need the consistent in their life, they need that structure. And a lot of these young guys do want the discipline as well. Ishmael, what's that please, Ishmael? What, are you stretching your ankles? We don't tolerate bad behaviour, we don't tolerate um, antisocial behaviour, we do not tolerate um, um, swearing, bullying. And the carrot for, for, the, for a lot of these kids is the football at the end of the week. So if they're here, they need to attend training if they want to play on Saturday. Is that they, your criteria they, they, to that, play, yeah, not, this is, not how good they no, are? No, it's not ability, ability at all. Don't get me wrong, we've got a lot of good, able players here, mm. but we believe that we need to develop their life, school, life skills, things like their punctu um, punctuality, their attendance, their general attitude to things. All your hands up, and if you basically come down, all the way down, all the way down. OK, there's no need to worship me, let's get going. What other things do you try and teach you? If you want to um, be um, like a footballer, for example, yeah, you can't just stay at home, don't come training and stuff like that. You have to come and like improve yourself. So you weren't playing down here, what do you think you'd be doing in your spare time? Probably being lazy, laying at home, watching Football Focus. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not being lazy, that's, that's doing something good with your time. On Wednesday, I visited another greenhouse project in Rains Park where they run sports coaching to keep kids from deprived areas of London off the streets during the school holidays. Do you think from, from some of the backgrounds that these young people come from, it's difficult for them to get out of that a downward social spiral at definitely, times? Definitely, definitely. In the light of what's happening out a road with the shootings over the past, what, 10 days, three youths, the youths that were actually shot were the same age as some of the ones that, that we got here. Mm. So, you know, you can get caught up in things like that. Do they talk about it when they hear that you know these shootings that are close to home and of, of kids the same age? Well, are they yeah, because there's about a it? couple of guys here know one of the guys that was actually shot. Really? They went to the same school. Are they fearful of it out, out there on the street, or is it? Do they take it? it as just part of life? Yeah, I believe that they are fearful of it because, in a sense, that they're here. If they wasn't fearful of it, then after they'd probably be outside and be probably on the fringes of it. But because they want to get away from it, they come to a place like this. It's a very, very good project because it's really entertaining and the kids need it, you know? They want to get involved here. The participation is absolutely excellent. I think that's the end of the interview. Yeah, you're not wrong there, Gavin. Uh, a worthwhile uh, project there, Liz. Yeah, any, any project like that that's going to get the kids off the street and, and, and the facilities, given the facilities to go. You know, I come from an estate just around the corner in, in, in Labra Grove, and when I was growing up, you know, we 
we used to, we used to have gangs, but we had somewhere to go and play football. And if you can provide the facilities for the, the, the boys to do that, it takes the negative aspect of just being on the streets and doing nothing and getting bored. Mm. You know, we was we were focused on playing football and doing other activities. And if the if the facilities are there, then it's it's surely going to take them away from just laying about and doing nothing. Mm. Martin, yeah, I think all credit to these community workers. You know, get people into a team environment, and. and um, it's great for them. Obviously, difficult times now in you know some of these neighbourhoods, and um, you know they've got good role models with these community workers, and, and that's what we want for them. I think just to get them off the streets, get them off you know out of the gang culture, mm. and give them a way or a route out has got to be a plus. Sure.